Prodigal Son. This home, it is one of a kind, simply peerless, with books and with incense, with prayers and flowers. What's lacking, though, Father, has rendered me cheerless. Far better in battle to try out my powers. For why was I born and brought up all afire? Now handsome and mighty, health superabundant, to barter my victory cries for a choir? Crowd roars for doxologies, glorias redundant? No longer a boy. I will not be deceived. Mere altered directions for thurible waving are meekness and pride. But St. Peter aggrieved to John wouldn't bow for this Daniel, no saving. Allow me, I'll try to increase all your chattels, your tears for the sinner. Just make me indignant. Both freedom and friendship I'll strengthen in battles. Teach kisses to firebrands who'll soon feel benignant. The world opens up to me now, a renewal. I'll act as a prince in God's name. Tisn't sorrow, but happiness. Him of free blood. Don't be cruel, dear father. Farewell, then. Today, not tomorrow. How pink through the portico shines the horizon. The galleons are gay on the Tiber side, flaming. Bring dancing girls here with the eventide rising. From Tyre, Sidon, Smyrna, great Venus fire claiming. Bring flowers and wine, and bring fragrances, henna. I celebrate happiness here in the city. But where are my comrades, Petronius, Sinna? Ah, here they are, here they are. Come, comrades witty, come quickly. Your couches are ready, the roses are ruddy as maiden cheek. Yet I am a quester. You well may remember my mission disposes me here to correct all the errors that fester. But out in the world, whose iniquity is proven as Roman philosophy is good at explaining, I see but one vice of the sloppy, the sloven, one virtue of elegant boredom is reigning. Morose old Petronius, that Syracusan sweet vintage will eat you, or hang me tomorrow. You, Cinna, are laughing? Ah, you won't be refusing that narrow-skulled, slanty-eyed slave. Out with sorrow! I dragged the dead meat to the reedy fen distant. I put a big trough in the stall for the mules. I'm hungry, boss. Help. Hunger's made me insistent. Allow me, that trough, let me drink, bend the rules. Beyond that big rick, there is hay, heaped and spoiling. The bulls will not eat it, the horses reject it. I'm kissing your knees, let me please for my toiling. Sleep there, though I know I've no right to expect it. Exhaustion is bad for a worker too eager. The eyes become blinded by sweat flowing steady. If only one day just to rest, it's so meager. Don't hit me, boss, please. Where's the work? I am ready. The oranges. Ah, oh, they are ripe in my father's fine orchards. Red gold of a noon that is boundless. Fair maids chanting love songs whom nobody bothers will pick them, in basket be throwing them soundless. And there will keep vigil, his son well recalling, a gray-bearded man. He is old, but yet stately. He grieves. I'll admit, yes, my guilt is appalling. My guilt before God, before you. I've sinned greatly. In heart's bitter dolor we find what is sweeter, the garden 
I dare not go near it. I'm frightened. I ran there and played with my fox, a pet fleeter than I was, by far at age three, when hope brightened. Oh, yes, I've grown up, for my daring paid dearly. Presentiments torment, bereavements deep biting. Yet this little creature, first playmate, now merely a shadow revives, young affection requiting. Proud arches arise by the plot where I gardened. My ancestor's hearth is that home in the gloaming. It seems so grown up after many years hardened, while I, first a rogue, then a beggar, was roaming. There's feasting, and tables with platters are laden, the smoking calves roasting, the dough that is glowing. My sister comes out with a marvelous maiden, rose laden in white, to a wedding she's going. Behind them, my father, my father so lordly. Again must I go, is my roving not ended? He knows me, he guessed, he's approaching, comes toward me, the feast and the bride, it's for me they're intended.